Well, big one tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, talented team, uh, well coached team. Play hard. Um, you know, getting Davis back for them was important because uh, he really helps down low. They've got very good low post uh, game. Uh, Romeo Langford's extremely talented. Um, so they're, they're a good team. So it's going to be a, a tough test for us, and we need to uh, be ready to go. Did you do anything to keep the team loose the past couple days after the way Nebraska went down? Uh, well, Andy got a haircut other than that. Yeah, and shaved. But other than that, we didn't do a whole lot more. Um, no, we um, – well, when was the game? Wednesday. What day is today? Friday. Yeah, so we, we – we, no, we didn't have much time. Um, yesterday, we just uh, – Got back at it. Did you get any clarity from the Big Ten office? I did, but, you know, and I'm not going to go in there because it doesn't matter. Um, it's like the Saints. They didn't play in the Super Bowl. So what does it matter? We move on. When you saw the way that your team did play defensively before that, um, and, you know, it's something to build on. Yeah, I thought we played well. Again, I mean, just didn't win the game. Um, but I thought we played well on the road. I think the guys should be confident. They did – uh, you know, they weren't perfect by any means, but we did a lot of really, really good things uh, in a tough environment. Um, just didn't go our way. What do you look to as kind of the defensive focus for you guys right now? Um, well, I mean, there's so much that goes into defense. I mean, first and foremost, doing your job on the ball uh, is very, very important. You know, I mean, what, the tone that you set when you're guarding the ball is very, very crucial to everything defensively. Um, you know, so, I mean, tomorrow, post defense is important. Uh, doing a really good job of Romeo Langford's important. Being connected as one, you know, if, if a guy gets beat, who's the next guy that's going to help? Uh, communication, transition defense has been a bit of an issue for us at times. It was uh, better, I thought, at Nebraska. Three Defensive home. rebounding important, too, yes. Three home games left. Do you feel like you have to win all of them? Kind of just worried about Indiana. Um, I want to win them all, you know, but I don't really think like that. I, tr I try not to think like that. I mean, it's human nature to think that way and look ahead, um, you know, but you got to win at home. We've dropped two. Um, you know, hopefully we can take care of tomorrow. Flying home on Wednesday, I guess, being around some guys yesterday. I mean, spirit's still relatively good. I mean, you have tough-minded kids that are yeah, they're good. university now, but, hey, you guys can overcome this. Yeah, again, I, you know, we try to focus a lot on not necessarily the result. And the result didn't end in our favor last game. But I think that our guys played well enough to win on the road in the Big Ten, which is not easy to do. Um, we know now that we've got two in a row at home. You know, I'm sure they're excited to play at home, you know, because we had, I think, about three or four on the road. Um, you know, so that schedule was tough. Um, not that it's any easier, but, you know, when you go get it home, I'm sure they're excited to play in front of our fans. You expect uh, Eric to see that? You know, I don't know. Um, I think he's moving closer and closer, but I still don't know. What does it mean when you don't have him? And, and I'm, obviously, Daniel did a great job offensively, but, um, you know, what, what do you need when you, when you don't maybe have him at his best? Well, he's a guy – it's been hard because he was starting to get in shape and he was starting to get in – you know, basketball shape, uh, but he's missed a lot of games over the last two years. So to expect him to come in right away and be terrific offensively, uh, it's not realistic. It's going to take some time there. Um, you know, but he's very, very important to our team, very important. Um, he knows how to win. He does little things very, very well. He makes us um, less young, you know, if that makes any sense, um, because when, you know, when he's not there, you're playing newcomers. Mott's is a newcomer. Jarvis is a newcomer. Guys like that. So um, it's important to have him back. And, uh, you know, I think we, we're better with him. Well, one thing Jordan mentioned, I think Dupree might have as well, that because they've gone through uh, some of these losing streaks before, people, guys are asking him, like, hey, how did you handle that? Um, how, how do you lean? I mean, is it something that you lean on those guys that, that have been through it before, like an Eric and a Jordan? It's important. And it's important when you have guys in your locker room who understand what this is about. Um, every, well, not every team, but a lot of teams, like I said before, have been pronounced dead. Um, Illinois was a horrible team. Nobody thought they were any good. And I remember playing them. They had won four games. I remember saying to Brad Underwood, like, how have you only won four games? Because I watched your team play, and I think this is a really good team. And you see what they've done. 
Uh, Wisconsin went through it. Ohio State went through it. Michigan State went through it. Um, you know, Michigan just lost to Penn State. Um, so teams are going to go through those things. It's a long, long season. Um, you know, so we've got six very important ones left um, and a very good Indiana team right in front of us. And, you know, with the way that this conference is, um, there's a lot of teams that could potentially get in the tournament. You know, I mean, Indiana um, hasn't played great of late. They've, you know, a lot of people have them in right now. So it's a quality win opportunity for us. You know, we're not winning right now. So if we could turn this thing, it's very important. I've heard how uh, Daniel has an understanding of centers in the game, like you know, Bill, uh, Bill Russell and guys like that. How is he showing himself to be kind of a student of the game and understanding? Loves that? basketball. Loves it. Loves to talk about who's better, you know, LeBron or Michael Jordan, right? I mean, he loves arguing about this, those things. Our team argues about the dumbest basketball comparisons that never have answers more than any team I've ever been around. And I think Daniel fuels that. He starts those arguments. Uh, but he loves it, loves basketball, loves it. Um, you know, so I don't know if it helps him basketball-wise. I just think he loves to argue. Uh, but I think he's going to be a really, really good player. He's a, he's a guy that we recruited right when I got here. And offensively, I think you're starting to see it. I think defensively, he's getting better. Did a, You know, I think playing against Hap, doing a pretty good job, may have given him a little confidence. Uh, but he's, you know, he'll have a, a tall order tomorrow. Do you think that the position the team is right in right now, where every game is kind of important with you being on the bubble, potentially helps a month from now in Chicago when it's Big Ten tournament time? You can kind of say, look, we've been in games that are not must win, but really important. So do you think that kind of carries over? I think at this level, they're all really important. You know, like um, I, I think they're all – we've lost two games at the buzzer, you know, with Nebraska, Michigan. Um, you know, we beat Penn State, they miss a shot. Like, it, this is a possessions league, um, you know, where it's everything's heightened. You know, it's big crowds, national TV, a lot at stake. Uh, so, you know, I don't, I don't ever sense that any of these games are not important. So, um, for us, uh, Indiana's just another really good opportunity. Stalls played more minutes the last two games. You said that after the Wisconsin game, you want to get him more time. I mean, How's that going? And he plays ten minutes on Wednesday. He didn't get off a shot. Yeah, he he um, he. I think that he understands the physicality of this game at this level, and that's why I've been trying to play him a little bit more. Um, he does need to score the basketball, and he can shoot the ball. Obviously, we're not a great shooting team, and he can provide that value. He's a smart player, um, you know, and it's just taking him some time to get acclimated. These fifth-year seniors, they're not always. It's not always as perfect as. Um, we all hope it would be like you're going to slide right in. Like, that's hard. Um, and everybody's in a rush. He's probably in a rush. We're in a rush. He gets here late. Uh, you know, so I do think he's been practicing better, playing a little bit better. Um, you know, obviously, offensively, last game, he needs to attack a little bit more. Anything else? Indiana's lost nine of its last ten, but you said they're a good or great team. What makes them good or great even with this skid? Front court's really, really good. Um, you don't go at Michigan State and beat them unless you're a pretty good team. Um, you know, Archie does a really good job. Um, Romeo's a potential one-and-done player. You know, so I, I think that they've got, uh, they've got all the pieces very, very good defensively. Probably, like us at times, struggle to shoot the basketball. Um, you know, you watch some of these teams. I look at Ohio State last night. I mean, you got to shoot the basketball. And you got to be able to play through it if you don't. Uh, if you can't make shots, if you got to be tougher, you got to be more physical. Uh, and I think Indiana's got a lot of those ingredients. So uh, I know from the numbers, you know, regardless of the record, uh, analytically and all those things, it's a really good team. And uh, from my just watching them, uh, they play with a purpose. And, uh, you know, I think Archie gets them to play tough, very tough basketball. When you're at practice, do you see a better shooting team than you think shows up sometimes in the games? Yeah. But they're playing against a bad defense, so. Hi. Thanks. Uh, yeah, better. I mean, better. But th but there's not you're not under duress of a, you know, a college game. You know, so it's going to be natural that practice is a little bit better. Um, I don't. I, again, I, I've never said I don't think we're a bad shooting team. I don't think we're a great shooting team. But I think there's there's an opportunity for us to be able to hit some more threes. Um, you know, and Dupree and Amir when they hit threes like they did last game, that that really helps. Yep. All right, thank you. Thank you.